what town? Rory, you came into the week knowing that you were going to be lifting the race to the Dubai Trophy, but wanting to finish on a high. Describe the high you're on. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, you know, I said at the start of the week I wanted to come here and hold two trophies on the 18th green on Sunday evening, and, uh, you know, that's what I've managed to, to do. Um, you know, I didn't get off to the best of starts today, like basically the, the previous three days as well, and uh, I saw Justin making a charge up the leaderboard, and, uh, you know, I heard the, the cheers, and, you know, and presumably got to 21 under on the last, and I knew I needed to do something special, and, uh, you know, kick started off with a, a couple of good birdies on 14 and 15, which are the, the probably the two birdie holes coming in. And then, you know, the, the birdie 16 and 17 as well, just to, to give myself a little bit of a cushion going up the last. Um, you know, I, I couldn't have wished for the season to end any better. You haven't been feeling well this week at all. How deep have you had to dig? Uh, um, deep enough. Uh, I felt okay today. Uh, you know, again, I didn't feel great last night, but... Um, I guess I just summoned all, all my energy that I, that I had left into you know, the, these 18 holes that I had to play uh, for the last four days. And um, yeah, I mean, I knew I was coming in here playing well and I just needed to, to hold a few more putts and I was able to do that on the weekend. And you know, that's, that's why I'm standing here. What was the most important shot you hit in those last five holes? Because when you bogeyed 13, you fell two behind, he still had a par five to play. Um, I guess probably the, the tee shot on 17. I think that was very important because that, that's probably a hole that you don't think is a birdie chance. It, it, was, a, it was a tough, tough pin today. It was, it was over 200 yards into the wind and uh, you know, I just had a great five iron in there and you know to make two there and give myself a cushion going up the last was, was very nice. You were alongside Ian Poulter at the Ryder Cup when he birdied the last five holes to rescue that match. That crossed our mind. Did it cross yours? Um, not really, no. Um, I was just focusing on the task at hand and um, you know I knew I needed a few birdies coming in and um, you know, as I said, it was nice to just give myself that cushion. But uh, you know, I, you know, it's, it's as I said, just a, a great way to finish what has been a great season. Five victories this season. Obviously, winning the Ryder Cup as well. The money list, both sides of the pond. Describe 2012 from Rory McIlroy's point of view. Uh, it's been great. It's um, you know, as I said, I couldn't have wished for any better. Especially the, the way it's ended. Um, you know, to to back up 2011. You know, after winning a major, you know, winning another one this year. Um, being part of a unbelievable story at the Ryder Cup and then obviously finishing off the season like this um, you know, it's been an incredible year and, and hopefully uh, you know I can emulate it or, or even surpass it next year. Last round of golf with those golf clubs what are we going to do with those? <laughs> um, I'm not sure yet I'm not sure I might just keep them for a little bit of a momentum but uh, yeah you know I've got a, a few weeks now to, to get into some new equipment and I'm um, actually looking forward to the, the possibility of that and the, you know it, even though the, the 2012 season for me has just ended, I'm excited about 2013 already. Your girlfriend Caroline was teasing you earlier in the week, saying if she cheerleaded very well and you won, that you should buy her an extra <laughs> special Christmas present. Have you got that in hand? Maybe the golf clubs? <laughs> Maybe. It might improve her golf. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, there's still a, a little bit of time, but um, it's, it's been great to have you know so many of my family and friends out here um, this week. Obviously Caroline as well, and you know my coach Michael Bano, my parents. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's been a great week and, um, you know, as I said, just a great way to finish 2012. Congratulations, incredible play, well done. Thank you.